Only a few decades ago, we had no scientific evidence that there were other planets beyond our solar system. However, thanks to technological advancements and ongoing research, today we know of over 5,300 exoplanets, these are alien worlds situated beyond the borders of our Earth, eager to be explored. Initially, discoveries focused on large gas giants, but as our capabilities improved, we began finding smaller exoplanets more similar to our own planet. So far, scientists have identified more than 50 exoplanets with masses similar to Earth and over 800 with a radius smaller than half of Earth's. However, finding planets in these conditions orbiting within the so-called habitable zone of their parent stars, where conditions are conducive to life, has been a challenge. But that is changing as we advance in our search for habitable worlds. One particularly intriguing planetary system in our cosmic neighborhood is Gliese 667, GJ 667, situated in the constellation Scorpius, about 23 light-years from Earth. This system consists of three stars, with Gliese 667A being the largest, an orange-red star, and Gliese 667B, a companion to star A, both similar to our Sun. However, it is the third star, Gliese 667C, a much smaller and weaker red dwarf, that catches attention. Despite its small stature, Gliese 667C hosts a surprisingly diverse planetary system. Initially, it was believed that only three exoplanets orbited around Gliese 667C, but further research revealed the possibility of up to six planets, of which three or four may be in the habitable zone. But what exactly is a super-Earth? The term is used to describe planets larger than Earth but still smaller than gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. These exoplanets can be composed of rock or a mix of rock and ice, and their atmospheres may sustain different forms of life. The three potentially habitable planets in the Gliese 667c system are all located in orbits farther from their parent star and have masses between one and five times that of Earth, making them promising candidates for habitability. Gliese 667cc is the planet closest to its star, situated on the inner edge of the habitable zone. It has approximately 3.8 times the mass of Earth and a radius 1.8 times larger. One year on Gliese 667cc lasts only 28 Earth days. With an Earth similarity index of 0.85, it is considered one of the best candidates for a Earth 2.0. Due to the low energy output of the star Gliese 667c, the habitable zone is located very close, ranging from 0.11 to 0.23 astronomical units (AU). For comparison, Earth is about one Australian dollar away from the Sun. If Earth were so close to a star like Gliese 667c, it would be a freezing world. Another interesting aspect is that Gliese 667cc is likely gravitationally locked to the star, with one side permanently facing the day and the other the night side. These significant temperature differences could influence the planet's global climate significantly. Despite the promising characteristics, we are not yet certain whether Gliese 667cc has an atmosphere, and its thickness remains a mystery. The presence of an atmosphere similar to Earth's could distribute heat throughout the planet, leading to a pleasant temperature of around 30 degrees Celsius on the night side. However, living on Gliese 667 cc would be quite different from what we are accustomed to here on Earth. The red dwarf, Gliese 667 c, emits bursts of radiation and energetic particles that could be harmful to life on the planet's surface. Additionally, Gliese 667cc's greater mass would result in a gravitational acceleration about 60% higher than that of Earth, meaning significantly greater weight for anyone on the surface. However, these peculiarities do not rule out the possibility of life on Gliese 667cc. Life has shown remarkable adaptability here on Earth, and the same may be true on other worlds. Gliese 667 cc is just one of three potentially habitable planets in the system, with the others, Gliese 667 Su and Gliese 667 CF, located farther from the star, which could make them too cold for life as we know it. However, if they have dense atmospheres, 
they may retain heat and become more hospitable. The discovery of planetary systems rich in potentially habitable planets like Gliese 667 c shows us that there are numerous possibilities for life in our galaxy. As telescopic technology advances, we will continue to explore the cosmos in search of fascinating worlds and who knows, habitable ones.